How did you get the opportunity to work abroad in Hong Kong and Shanghai? Uh, I've been managing uh, some projects with uh, energy efficiency in manufacturing. And a lot of, the, as we all know, a lot of manufacturing in this world, particularly in what you consider low value um, products, that is to say, um, uh, products that are a little easier to manufacture, that don't require a lot of the, the real intense manufacturing processes, um, and that uh, don't command you know, really high price premiums, it's happening in Asia. Um, and so uh, coupling the fact that with all that manufacturing is happening, I've been working in the retail and consumer uh, goods area for a while as part of our corporate partnerships. I, you, know, you kind of follow where the end of the trail leads and that leads to, to, to China. And uh, if you are working with manufacturing in China with the export business, you know, Hong Kong is kind of where it all happens still. Uh, there's a lot of international trading companies operate still out of Hong Kong just because the, the legal structures are a little more solid and uh, well more better understood than they are on, on mainland China. So uh, we went there to kind of to, to be effective in that field. You have to be on the ground for a little while, and so I needed a, a few months to really uh, make the establish the relationships, you know, make the contacts, uh, and really uh, kind of figure out if what we were working on was the right stuff to work on. So. We spent a few months there, uh, and it was fun. We got to live in Hong Kong. We got to you know travel throughout southern China. I got to see some really uh, amazing growth that's happening in China right now, and um, breathe some pretty bad air. What what surprised you about just that experience? I've been traveling to China for about four years now, and um, it blows me away every time. The, the the rate of growth, even though it's in some ways slowed down a little bit in the last couple of years, um, the is 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 truly astounding. Um, the the uh, the energy that the Chinese people have is really amazing to see. Um, the the young people in China have have really impressed me. The, the twenty somethings that are really hungry, that are working very hard, um, sometimes for not so great pay, uh, even in the professional class. Uh, just their their determination to you know make China a better country, to uh, to make themselves um, known uh, in their fields, uh, and to just be very good at what they do is it's really inspiring in a lot of ways so um, and in many ways it's it, it also for me was able to put a very personal face on something that is a, a very kind of public idea which is you know the growth of China what does it mean uh, the, the media has done a very good job and politicians have done a very good job of sort of you know trying to uh, sort of foster fear around the rise of China and you know and for some reasons you know politically that's you know, there's very good reason to you know, think about an authoritarian uh, communist country um, and what that means for global politics. And I can't pretend to imagine all the ins and outs in that. But working very closely with um, some some young Chinese folks has, has been pretty inspiring. They're, they're they're great people. They're very warm. Uh, at least the ones that I've worked with, uh, really funny. Uh, I've had some uh, some just great great meals and great experiences, yeah. and been just really impressed by these by these people. And so it's. Um, it's been, it, was a, it was a really good experience. It's been a great experience.